Hey everybody, welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. I am Desiree. Hello and welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. My name is Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad for my five kids with a another kid on the way and this is my lemonade it is warm out here today um nine things that have to go today and i'm behind the eight ball there's 17 sales but we're just going to do these nine and then we'll do the rest later made in the u.s single dingle single stitch with a deer on it sold for 12 dollars free shipping i have no idea where this came from but couldn't be a lot easier to make that money i wouldn't have spent very much on it I spent $4 on this at a consignment sale. It was half price day, and this was marked at $8, and I bought it for four. Part of the problem was, and this is a good reason to do comps, like her uh, umbrella, Mary Papa's very famous umbrella is in there, but in the picture, it sure doesn't look like it is. Um, so somebody asked, and then I made the note about with umbrella in the title and put a thing in it that says the umbrella just slipped behind. She's never removed from box. And uh, it sold to somebody else fairly quickly. I have said it before and I'll say it again. Um, vintage Family Guy stuff is coming up. So this is like 2005. Yeah, 2006 maybe. I put 2005 there. It's a little hard to make out. It could be a five or a six. Anyway, vintage family guy clothing from the early days of family guy does well. Does uh, So that sold for $19.99 plus shipping buyers all in at 24. These pants, just some sweat pants uh workout jogger athleisure i believe it's jogging or jogging it might be a soft j vintage nike uh no tag but that would have been a silver tag or a gray tag uh paid a dollar for these with a bunch of stuff at a garage sale they had all their clothes were a dollar sold for ten dollars plus shipping buyer is all in at 16. i bought this at goodwill stranger things nine dollars plus shipping so maybe i probably spent three on it and it's been listed a while i wouldn't buy stranger things shirts anymore stranger things is still a hot property but those shirts are loot crate and made in such big numbers that they're not worth messing with um chase authentics this was a takedown and sell similar uh jeff gordon with hits on the sleeves thermal shirt uh ten dollars plus shipping it's been listed forever and it uh took forever to sell it took the uh, takedown and relist and 10 bucks i'm sure i didn't spend much on it but it's been around so long i don't know where i got it four books all the same series nero wolf detective um very popular series considering that most of the books were written between the late 30s and the early 50s still i sell these every time i put them up narrow wolf and i have i don't find them much other than i found a whole bunch of them in a hoarder house and i keep uh, unearthing more and so i keep listing them and they keep selling this is an angry bird plush and this is like the 12 inch this thing's almost as big as a basketball um and they all should right here yeah there it is have a button inside of them that makes noise almost none of them work if they don't work they will sell if they do work they'll sell for a little bit of a premium because they work um but most people that collect them don't care this one sold cheap i got it cheap um and then it's got some lines on the face and so i paid a very i got this very cheap i think i paid a dollar for it it sold for 11 plus shipping uh asher picked one up in better shape and a more popular figure for a dollar and he'll probably get 
he'll probably get the same, but it's a much smaller plush yesterday. And then Carrie Underwood. I bought this shirt a long time ago and just assumed because she's a popular artist, this would be a good shirt. Modern country does not sell well. For shirts, anyway. $12 free shipping. So that's everything I have to ship today. I do want to brag a little bit. Uh, we were talking about small appliances on the TikTok and the thing. And can you guys see that KitchenAid right there? I paid $11 for that KitchenAid and it sold yesterday for a bunch of money. Um, like, I think I listed it for 90 free shipping. And if I could do just those, the thing about those is that they are kind of a pain to ship. You really have to, they take time. And so you're trading $82 free shipping for that. I paid $11, it took me like five minutes to test, not even that. Actually, that one did take me five minutes to test because I couldn't figure out some of the ways you select things are like multiple buttons. Anyway, um, and a couple minutes to take pictures of and um, it'll take me longer to ship it than it took me to do anything else. But even an hour in shipping, I made uh, $65 or something like that on it. Um, and so shipping and fees uh, should take, well, I guess maybe $55. Anyway, I made plenty of money on it. And then this morning, the uh, Salad Master that I picked up just the other day, uh, just yesterday, listed it this morning for $140, which was cheap, but it sold in an hour for $130, and I bought it yesterday for, I could probably have asked, there were, there was a sold comp for $190, but this one had scratches, and I don't want to wait on the guy at the end of the rainbow. I want it to move right away. So at a hundred, there were some lists, there were some sold for a hundred, there were some sold for 190. I put mine at 140 free shipping and it sold in a couple of minutes and I am elated with that. So uh, small appliances are becoming bread and butter for me to, to make 50, 60, a hundred dollars if you find the right one. I got a hundred dollar offer on that blender that I bought yesterday for five bucks and I didn't take it because I have it listed for 190 and I believe that it'll sell north of 150 so I wasn't ready to take a hundred dollar offer in the first hour that it's listed um, but that is what we're doing today so it is already quarter till uh, 11 so I gotta get this stuff packaged so that I can have an outside chance of meeting the mailman with it so thanks for watching okay so this just goes to show you have to be ready to look anywhere because i came into hobby lobby to get some stuff for my classroom and a poster that we need to frame at our house and they have their 66 percent off their spring item shop and i found some items that kind of stuck out to me um so first off like this xbox cup to change um with 66 percent off of the 20 dollars like that makes it like seven bucks six seven bucks and um this one is 25 um and so that makes it you know a little over eight bucks and um yeah new in box they list on ebay this one looks like it has some similar comps sold for 20 and um this one the comps weren't as great on so um I don't really know the rules about retail arbitrage, so how much your profit margins are, I'm a little confused. But the guy, the thing that stuck out to me was this guy right here. Isn't he pretty? So these are ceramic. Um, they're like cookie jars. Little cookie jars here. Um, so yeah, I might, I might be picking up, picking up those guys. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. I'm Desiree, full-time math teacher, mother of five children with one more on the way, and the wife of the man who runs this channel, Tom. And I am out and about again today without all the kids, so I'm going to 
see what kind of thrifting I can do here at my local Goodwill. So, kind of learned my mistake last time. Always get a cart. I'm a little confused on because when I looked at eBay comps, when you look at like what's listed, there's a lot of tournament backgammon sets that are listed. But then when you change it to say like in box, um, there's like 17 listed that look similar to this, um, and they are listed kind of in the $20 range ish. But then if you click on the sell on the sold comps, they're like not sold for $20. It's like five or 10 bucks. So I'm gonna pass. Okay, so I looked these up and it looks like all the other ones have like these little like pads on the end here for, these are canning tongs if you don't know that. So like when you are canning stuff, you lift it up out of the pot um, when it's hot so it can cool um, after you sealed it. And so then there should be some pads on the end. So I'm gonna pass on that. And then, um, salt comps on this are like eight, 10 bucks. So pass it.
last time I was here. Arkansas River Tours. It's a weird item. Okay, so as a math teacher, I would not recommend picking that up, except for that's the kind that I have in my classroom that I let my students borrow. So, um, calculators you gotta be careful because, like, that one right now would probably be with school stuff like ten bucks, maybe fifteen. Uh, you know, your local, your local uh, department store, Walmart, Target, whatever. Um, the things that you can look for, though, are if you can get, like, a TI-84. Those still tend to sell fairly well. So, um, definitely, like, be on the lookout for, like, your TI-84s. Your 89s are not as common. I know the number's higher and it has more stuff. But, um, they're not required as much as the 84 is. So, as a math teacher, I'm telling you, like, you want to look for an 84. And an 82, eh. I mean, it'll work, but skip it. Dude. Okay, it's totally busted, but this is kind of freaking sweet. Panasonic color coded video camera. See, it's got this busted part here. Oh my goodness. Power supply for it is huge. <laughs> and that's just freaking sweet. I'm gonna need two hands like that and I have to put the camera down. So this thing is busted up. Um, lots of like missing little broken pieces and things in really rough shape. Um, the little eyepiece is kind of busted too. Um, but here's the model stuff. Color video camera on my PX700. And like I said, that attached power supply is gigantic and it is 1184. Brought out some new parts. I know Tom's always really big about checking these out. <laughs> shoes. I skipped that last time. And I spot these weird looking things. Sport. Sport tea pot? Hmm. 604. Okay, there was somebody eye in this. One eye. What was that? Dog. Some records. Okay. over here because I thought I saw them putting out a DVD combo unit but I think maybe I was mistaken because I don't I don't see it now they're just DVD units oh. 
What do we got down here? Okay, it's a DVD. Okay, it's a DVD comic. I know that he always swears by those. Hold on. Might need to two hand this one, guys. Okay, that's an under cabinet radio, which is not what we're going for, right? We're going for this guy down here. Ten bucks. I don't know, Tom, what do you think? Ten bucks? Do they still sell? Alright, let's find out. Okay, the other one that I saw them putting out was just the DVD unit, but it was like a double unit of a stack, so that's why I thought it was more. Okay, cool. At least I found one anyway, right? Um, so, so far the stuff I'm in Kurt is that DVD set, some stuff for me, that camera. Um, I actually looked that one up, you guys, and it was, um... The power source that did it for me, the power source sells separately for $30 by itself. And then the camera itself. It's a little more risky this time with my finds. So actually, when I look through all the stuff that I got, I only got a couple of things for reselling. I don't know how y'all go and thrift all the time and not end up for your house. Stuff stuff for your house. Sorry. All right, so let's take a look at what I got. Stuff I got. Stuff I got. Um, I got the Budweiser hat because it's only $1.50 and I kind of feel like it's just a simple item. Probably only going to make 10 bucks on it, but that's, you know, seven times what I spent on it. Okay, this. It's like, it's the Tito's handmade vodka. It's a scrunchie and a bandana. And it's $1.50. I don't know. It's kind of cool stuff. But I think the rest of the stuff is just for me. I got a couple dresses. And a couple pairs of shoes. And a basket. And a calculator. Okay. And then these two big bulky things. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay. This is a the Panasonic video camera. The reason I bought it. I know it was whatever. $11. I know it's very broken. I But the reason I got it is because this power supply by itself sold for $30 plus shipping because it is a little heavy so I figure when in doubt part it out um, and then this 954 for the JVC can't even lift it you guys JVC um, dual blah 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 yeah okay cool that's all I got